everybody, this is Cryptic Nexus, or Anthony. So, hello everybody, this is Anthony, or Cryptic Nexus. So today, I've got a quick unboxing, another nice shaky cam. Anyways, so it is the, uh, I'm going to guess that's RX500 for Raid Max. Uh, that that's my guess uh 500 xt atx power supply so let's just give you a good view of all the wattages all right that's long enough you have a pause button i don't anyway let's uh do a quick oh damn it and dirty unboxing because yeah So clingy. Why is autofocus? Yay, LG G4. Such a good camera, but sometimes, meh. Alright, so <laughs> that's some sparse packaging. Uh, we have IEC lead. Sorry, I had a brain fart because I was looking at the damage on the box here from the stuff smacking it. Awesome. So, we get four screws, and here's the power supply. So, it's not a bad looking power supply. It is quite sh short and lengthwise. That's like five inches. Uh, nice big openness to it. And what do we get cable-wise? Come on, zip tie. So we have our 20 plus 4 pin, or our 24 pin, because who uses 20? Uh. Here we have an EPS connector. Or actually, it's a... Uh... Eh, focus. Why no autofocus? Anyways, two four pin or EPS connector. Then we have, okay. So that was, that's a little disheartening. So it is two six pin. Why are you not autofocusing? Like what the fuck? Anyways, so that's a little concerning. So I was hoping for two uh, wires for a 6-pin and an 8-pin, but it's not. It's two 6-pins, and then the uh, two double pins are just looped. So that's kind of poopy. But either way... It has a 6-pin and a 6 plus 2. And here is 4 SATA. And 2 more SATA. A single Molex and a floppy drive connector. Which is kind of cool because even though nobody uses floppy anymore... Um, it's still nice to have because there is some peripherals that use the floppy connector for power. So that's cool. Anyways, this has been the this oh, yay. This has been the RX 500 XT. Again, there is the wattages. Ah uh...